All right, guys, now I'm going to do the double power test. I see a lot of people say, oh, it takes three more dB to, it, it, it takes twice the power to gain three dB. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to do 140, 143, 146, 149, 152, 155, and 158. In theory, I should double power every time, right? Exactly, to gain those three dB. Let's see if it's true. Now, I'm going to let you know, I already know the answer to this. But I'd like, I'd like to put it on video so people could see what, it, what doubling power truly does as you go up in, in SPL. Yeah, I'd like to do it now. All right, so 54 hertz. We found out that's my new peak, so I gotta go adjust my um, USBs when I put finals and burp the wrong frequency. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, do 140 dB. If I could, I'm gonna get as close as I can. So, 53 watts to do a 140 this time. You saw my previous testing, it could be done on last, but whatever. Um, so, I always track everything, even though I know what this is gonna do. So now let's go ahead, so I did a 140 on 53 watts. So now to do a 143, it should be 106 watts, right? I overshot that one, let's redo that. Actually got a little more efficient on that. Um, so 105 watts to do a 143. This, this, these are really arbitrary. You're not gonna see anything crazy until you get up into higher power because for this truck to do a 143, you saw 105 watts. It's like 20, 21.2 watts per amplifier. And there's four six Ks, so. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see so I did 105 watts to do a 143. So to do a 146 should be 210 watts, right? So 217 watts, so it was lost a little bit of efficiency there, um, but it took a little more than double power <laughs> to gain 3 dB. So let's put that in there. Yep, lost a little bit of efficiency. Um, and I'm saying I'm losing efficiency because that'll come, that'll come into play when you get into higher power testing. So. 149, see here, I did that on 217 watts, right? Which means, it should take me 434 watts to do a 149.
find out that's true. Stuff. You see almost no, you see any voltage drop or heating of the coils, nothing, but still under, it's a little over 100 watts. So it should have been 434, it was 455. Let's go ahead, 149, 455. Still dropping efficiency, not a noticeable amount yet. But let's go ahead and see what it takes to do a 152. So, it took 455 watts, so it should take 910 watts to do a 152. Let's see if that's true. Nine hundred and sixty five watts to do a one fifty two. Dropped efficiency again, it took us about forty five more watts than it should have. Now we factor that in, that's about five percent, give or take, uh, less efficient. So it took fifty five watts more than it should have to do to, to double the score, which is 3 dB, right? So again, that's about 5% more than double the power. So in that case, to do a 55 should take 1,930 watts to do a 155. Let's see. There. It took 2,096 watts. That's almost 200 watts more. Let's see here. So, yeah, dropped efficiency too. So let's see here. It dropped another 5% or so. So I bet if I double, let's go ahead and do it. Let's see what 1,930 watts is. That'll show you how much less efficient this is. Because that is way more than double power. Should have been 1,930 watts to a 55. So what does it take? What does 1,930 watts actually get me? Pretty close. So 1930 watts gets me a 547. So that means that roughly doubling my power only gets me 2.7 dB gain, not the 3 dB that, that's supposed to be doubling power, right? Doesn't sound like a lot, but three tenths at 155 dB is quite a bit. All right, so let's see here. It took me 2,096 watts to do a 155. So in that theory, it should take doubling power is 3 dB. So on that, it should be 4,192 watts to do a 158. Now, 
we actually just did a 158 a few minutes ago before I cut the video. So we know that's not going to happen, but let's see what it takes to do 158. Should be 4,192. Let's see what it actually takes. Sixty-six watts to do a one fifty-eight one. That's a uh, that's almost that's about eight hundred watts more than it's supposed to. Uh, so man, something's really going wonky now. Anybody guess where I'm going with this yet? Forty-nine sixty. Anybody guess where I'm going with this yet? So it took me, um, actually it took 900 watts more than it was supposed to, to, to do 3 dB louder, which is supposed to only be double the score. That is about 10% less efficient. So out of, out of curiosity, let's see what 4,192 watts actually gets me because that's supposed to be what it takes to do a 58 from the 55 for doubling power. So let's see. Let's see what 4,192 watts gets me in the SPL world. Overshot a little bit, but it ain't going to make a difference. So 57.5. So, I was about 30 watts over. I lost 5 tenths of a dB doubling my power. It was only 2.5 dB louder. You do the math on that, that's what, 16% less efficient? 16 to 18% less efficient? So, the basic, basic point I'm trying to make is if you get up higher in power, the 3 dB double your power theory no longer applies. I bet if I went up to a 61, it would take me probably, took me what, 4,900 watts to a 58 one? I bet it'll take me all, every bit of, um, every bit of 10K to do a 61, which is probably, probably about right. So that's why efficiency is so, so important. Because as you get up into these decibel levels, you're not going to be able to say, okay, I'm doubling my power, I'm going to get 3 dB. That's no longer the case, as you see right here. 